discussion session on prelims mock test 15 quantitative aptitude section so let us start your session question number 36 to 40 are based on you have a line chart as well as article type a b c e e f and here is given that six different types of articles cost prices are given here in the line graph and table shows profit percentage and on selling that article so now the question number 36 question number 36 selling price of six uh, article of type e is uh, what percentage more or less than five articles of type a type e type e cost price is 72 type e cost price is 72 on that there is 25 percent is profit so 125 percentage of 72 like that six articles okay is how much 125 percentage means on this 125 percentage of 72 is 90 90 into 6 is 540 now five articles of type a and type a how much profit is there 20 percentage cost price 80 so it is 120 percent of 80 which is 96 96 into 5 uh, 96 into 5 480 540 is more than 480 by how much 60 60 is what percentage of 480 61 ja, 68 ja, 1 by 8 means 12.5 is the answer now next selling price of type f is what percentage of selling price of d selling price of type f type f uh, you have cost price 88 profit is 50 percentage 150 percentage of 88 is what percentage of selling price of d d cost price 60 profit 10 percentage so 110 percentage of 60 150 percent of 88 is 132 110 percent of 60 is 66 so it double means 200 percent 200 percent the next question number 38 retailers sold five articles of type b and two articles of type a so type five articles of type a five articles of type b na type b so five articles of type b means uh, it is 5 into 96 cost price and uh, two articles of type a two articles of type a total 480 plus 160 640 is the cost price and how how they are sold b at uh, 25 percent is profit 25 percent is profit means it is 125 percentage 125 percentage of 96 so like that 5 into 125 percent of 96 plus 2 into how uh, a is sold a is sold at uh, uh, 120 what is asked here only the profit is asked now the retailer sold find the profit percentage so it's simply if you find the profit is enough on five articles profit is how much 25 percent of 25 percent of profit if you calculate it's enough profit 25 percentage of 96 and 2 into 20 percentage of 80 so thereby 5 into 24 120 120 plus 32 120 plus 32 which is 152 is the profit okay so 152 is the profit on 640 on 640 cost price is what percentage so in 640 one fourth is 160 so answer is very close to 25 percentage and less than that so answer is 23.75 next find the average profit earned by retailer on selling one article of each type so 20 percent of 80 is 16 25 percent of 96 24 then 12 percentage 
of 100, 12, then 10 percent of 60, 6, then 25 percent of 72, 18, then 50 percent of 88, which is 44. This divided by 6, average, how much we are going to get? So, now if you see 18 plus 12, 30, 30 plus 30, 60, 60 plus 60, 120 by 6, which is 20. So, average is 20. Average is 20. Now, next, find the ratio between total selling price of type A and B together to total selling price of D and F together. So, here A and B, A and B, the total selling price. So, 120% of 80, 96 plus 125 percentage of, 125 percentage of, how much it is 125 percent of 96. So, how much you are going to, 96 plus 120, A plus B together is to D plus F. D plus F means 110 percent of 60, 66 and uh, 150 percent of 88, 132. If you add these two, it is 216 is to 198. What is the ratio? So, if you see here, 18, 12, 18, 11, 12 is to 11. 12 is to 11 is the answer. Now, 41 to 45 are based on wrong term. If you observe here, 419, 420, difference is 1. Difference is 5, difference is 25, difference is 125. So, difference is getting 5 times. 125 becomes 5 times 625. 625 becomes 5 times 3125. So, 575 plus 625 is 1200, correct? But 1200 plus 3125 is 4325. 4325. So, 4320 is the wrong term. Now, 7. 8, 16, 16, 52, for, uh, it's a multiplication series, you could, you could very clearly see into 5 plus 1, it is into 6 plus 1, it is into 4 plus 1, it has to be into 3 plus 1, it has to be into 1 plus 1, it has to be into 2 plus 1, it has to be into 3 plus 1. 8 into 2 plus 1 is 17. So, wrong number is 16. Wrong number is 16. Now, next question. 7, 22, 46, 88, 166, 316, 600. If you observe here, 7, 22. Difference is how much? 15. 22, 46. Difference is 24. 46, 88. Difference is 42. 88, 166, difference is 78, 166, 316, difference is 150, so 15, 9, 24, 18, 42, 36 difference and 78, 72, the next difference has to be 144 here, so here it has to be 294, 316 plus 294, is 610. So, 600 is the wrong term. Next, 240, 180, 120, 360, 90. So, decreasing, decreasing, increasing, decreasing, increasing. 90 into 5, 450, 450 by 6, 75, 36 by 4, 90, 120 into 3. So, into 3, into 4, into 5, into 6. It has to be divided by 2. It has to be into 1. 241, 240. So, wrong term is 180. In that place, 240 has to be there. Next. Now, let us see the next question number 45. Question number 45. What is the logic here? 3000 plus 8. 3008 plus 64. 3078 plus how much? 72 plus is 216. Next, 512, next 1000, what are all these, it is 2 cube, it is 4 cube, 
which is 6 cube, which is 8 cube, 8 cube which is 10 cube. So it has to be 12 cube. 12 cube is 1728. So it is uh, how much? 4800 plus 1728 is uh, 6528. 6528. So answer is double 528 is the wrong term. Now, question number 46 to 50. Ravi sent X messages in a day. 20% of uh, which sent to Ram. Out of remaining 25%, out of remaining 25% sent to Sham. Remaining messages sent to Rahul and Gopal in the ratio 4 is to 5. So Rahul got in, in total 24 messages. So Rahul got how much? 4 by 9th of 75% of 80% of whatever sent by Rahul. Uh, what? X. Okay. X. Whatever Ravi sent. And that value is given as 24. That value is given as this is Rahul. So thereby, how much you are going to get now? It is uh, 25 3s, 25 4s, 24s, 25s. Now 4 4 cancel. 3 3s are 9. Now 4 6s are 24. 6 5s are 30. 33 is 90. So x is 90. x is 90. 1.5 x is, is, is how much? 135. x plus 35 is 125. So quantity 1 is more than quantity 2. Next second question. 47. Area of square of size 16, 16 centimeter. Size is same as the area of rectangle whose breadth is 8 centimeter. So what the first one perimeter of a square. Side, side 16. So perimeter is 4 into 16 which is 64. Now perimeter of a rectangle. It is given that, it is given that the area of square. 16 square. Area of a square is same as area of rectangle. And the length into breadth. Length into breadth is 8. Thereby I will get length as how much? 256 by 8 which is 32. Now, now thereby the perimeter would be 2 into L plus B. 2 into 40 which is 80. 64 is less than 80. Thereby option B is correct. Now next, question number 48, train A crosses a pole in 20 seconds and a platform which is 60 meter long in 25 seconds. Train A cross train B coming from opposite direction in 15 seconds. The ratio between the speeds of train A is to train B is 2 is to 3, 2 is to 3. If uh, this train length is 2x, this train length is some uh, this train speed is 2x, this train speed is what 3x. Okay, and the length of the train A is not known, length of the train B is also not known. But train A crosses a pole in 20 seconds. In 20 seconds. What is the speed of train A? 2x. 2x. Now with a speed of 2x in 20 seconds, the distance covered by the distance covered by the train is its own length because it is crossing a pole. A train crossing a pole means what? The distance covered is equal to its own length. Its own length. Which is the length of the first train is how much? 40x. 40x. Now, from this what you can say? From this I can say uh, here uh, 2x is equal to 2x is equal to length of the train, first train divided by 20, right? This is already speed is equal to distance by time. In the same way, in the second case, second case, it is crossing a platform, train of the length, uh, length of the train and platform length divided by, it is taking 25 seconds. Is time taken how much? B 
is the speed is the speed speed is equal to distance by time distance covered is equal to sum of the length of train and platform so now i am equating l1 by 20 is equal to l1 plus 60 by 25 if you simplify this it is 5 4 uh, 4 5 za, 5 4 za, 5 5 za. so 5 l1 minus uh, so i will get l1 l1 as 240 l1 as 240 this is 240 now it takes how much time 15 seconds for them to pass each other pass each other so how much do you get speed of so l1 is you got 240 so what is uh, speed of first train speed of first train is uh, how much 240 divided by 20 which is 12 meters per second thereby speed of second train 2 is to 3 ratio this is 2 part 3 parts would be 18 now it has taken how much time 15 seconds for them to pass each other time is equal to distance by speed distance so you can say that the length of the first train you already got as 240 length of the second train i am not I, I don't know divided by how much time 15 so from this length of the how much i got how much i got uh sorry time is equal distance by speed speed is relative speed one speed is 12 the other speed is 18 so 30 into 15 450 450 minus 240 then by length of second train is 210 so 210 is less than 240 so here option b option b next probability of selecting one yellow ball out of a box consisting of some yellow balls and some green balls is 4, 4 by 7 4 by 7 so number of yellow balls in box number of green balls in box so uh, see here the probability is the total number of balls is 7x out of them you are picking one 7x even and uh, probability of picking yellow ball is 4 by 7 so it is 4x even so what does it mean if yellow balls are 4x then the green balls are 3x so which is more here 4x is more than 3x so you can say definitely uh, 1 is more than 2 1 is more than 2 now next the time taken by see what is given here the instruction distance covered by distance covered in upstream in 10.8 hours distance covered in upstream in 10.8 hours ratio of upstream speed to downstream speed is 1 is to 11 so if upstream speed is uh, 1x downstream speed would be 11x thereby the speed of the boat in still water this is upstream speed this is downstream speed thereby speed of the boat would be half of us plus D, uh, ds x plus 11x which is uh, given as 30 speed of the boat in still water is given as 30 so thereby 6x by 2 is 30 thereby x is equal to 5 so you can say upstream speed is 5 and downstream speed is 55 this is what we know now it is given that distance cover in 10.8 hours Dist distance cover in 10.8 hours upstream with a speed of 5 10.8 into 5 which is 54 kilometer so this answer is 54 kilometer what about the value of x here please observe second case second case Find x, the time taken by the boat for covering x minus 18 km upstream is equal to time taken by it for covering x km downstream. So here upstream speed is 6 km per hour less than the downstream speed of boat in still water. And the speed of boat in still water is 15 km per hour. So here it is given that x minus 18 by 
15 minus y is same as x by 15 plus y. Downstream x, upstream x minus 18, both the times taken are equal. And it is also, it is also given that the difference between downstream and upstream, 15 plus y minus 15 minus y is given as 6. So thereby y I got as 3. If y is 3, x minus 18 by 15 minus 12, 15 minus 3, 12, x by 15 plus 3, 18. So 6 3s are 6 2s are. So 3x minus 2x. So x is equal to 54 kilometer. x is equal to how much? So this is also 54 kilometer I am going to get. So thereby both x and y are both 1 and 2 quantities are equal. Now question number 51. Veer can do a work in 5 days. Ayush can do the same work in 3 days. So times taken in the ratio 5 is to 3. So their efficiencies will be in the ratio 3 is to 5. Ratio of efficiency of Veer to Ayush to complete a work is x minus 4 is to x plus 4. Then find the value of x. Find the value of x. So what you can say here, x minus 4 is, find the value of x. So here it is, uh, the, uh, it is known that we can do a work in 5 days, Ayush can do the same work in 3 days. The ratio of the efficiency of where a wheel to Ayush uh, to complete your work is x minus 4 is to x plus 4. So you can say x minus 4 is to x plus 4 is equal to 3 by 5. 3 by 5. From this what you got x? 5x minus 3x. 2x. It is uh, 24. 20 plus uh, 12. 20, 32. 2x 32 thereby x is 16. x is 16. The value of x is 16. The difference between compound interest and simple interest at the end of 2 years is 100. What is the principle? So, the difference between SCI and SI for 2 years, P into R by 100 whole square is 100 and rate of interest is 5. So, P into 5 by 100 whole square is 100. From this 5 ones are, 5 twenties are, 20 square is 400, 400 into 10 is 40,000. So, answer is 40,000. Answer is 40,000. The next, question number 53. In an election between two candidates, one got 50% of total valid votes and 20% of the uh, total votes cast are, cast are invalid. So, 80% are only valid. Okay, total votes are 7,500. Out of 7,500, four-fifths are valid. 80%. Out of them, one gets 55 percentage. So, other gets 45 percentage. So, what is this value? So, two zeros, two zeros cancel. Five uh, nines are. Now, 75 into 36. 75 into 36, how much you are going to get? Am I correct or not? 75 fours are 300. 300 nines are 2700. 20, 700. So, answer is option C. Next, the price of petrol increased by 25%. By what percentage should a car owner reduce the consumption of petrol? Expenditure on petrol remains constant. 1 by 4. First, petrol is increased. So, which plus numerator is 1. 1 by 5. So, the shortcut is this one. The answer is 20%. Next, by selling six dozens of bananas, a man gets a loss of one dozen of bananas. So when there is loss, selling price is equal to cost price minus loss. How many are sold? Six. CP minus one C one SP. Loss is one. So seven SP is equal to six CP. So the loss percentage is equal to M minus N by N into 100. 1 by 7 means 14 2 by 7 percentage. Next, a train crosses a bridge and a platform of length 450 meter and 700 meter in uh, 
20 seconds and 30 seconds respectively. Find the speed of the train. This is L1. This is L1 plus 700. What? Train crosses a bridge and a platform of length 450 meter and 700. This is L1 plus L2. Let me give you. To cross 450 meter, another train is taking 20 seconds. To cross 700 meter is taking 30 seconds. So what does it mean to cross this 250 meters extra? It is taking additionally 10 seconds. Thereby 25 meters per second is the speed. Is the speed. Now 57. 21 women can complete a piece of work in 20 days. Working 10 hours a day. In how many days 21 men will complete the work by working 8 hours a day if 3 men work as much as 5 women. So man to woman efficiency ratio is 5 is to 3. 21 women can complete a work in 20 days working 10 hours a day. 21 men will complete the work working 8 hours a day in how many days? This is the question. M1 D1 H1 is equal to M2 D2 H2. Now 21, 21 cancel. Now here you have 5 uh, five ones are 5 fours are 4 ones are 4 twos are 2 fives are. So answer is 15. Answer is 3 fives are 15. Next, the speed of boat in still water. The speed of boat in still water is 5 km per hour. Speed of current is 3. X is given, Y is given. The time taken to cover a certain distance upstream is in 8 hours. Is a, is a 8 hours. So, what is the distance covered in 8 hours in upstream? Distance is equal to speed, upstream speed into time. So, how much 5 minus 3? 2 into 8 which is 16 kilometer. How long will it take to cover the same distance downstream? Time is equal to distance by speed. So it takes 2 hours. It takes 2 hours. 3 coins are tossed simultaneously. What is the probability of getting at least one head and one tail? At least one head one tail means it can be one head, one head, one tail. So it can be at least one head means one head, two tails. Or two tails, one head. Or one head, two tails. And uh, see, at least one head, one tail, man. So what, what is my probability? One is head, the remaining two are tails. Uh, like this, head TT. And T H T T T H. Okay, one head two tails, and the other is two heads one tail. So it is H H T H T H T H H. So thereby number of favorable outcomes are how many six? When three coins are tossed, three coins are tossed. Total sample space is two cube. So 6 by 8, which is 3 by 4. 3 by 4. The average age of a class of 20 students increased by 2 years when 4 new students joined. So for 24, so initially the, the original average age was 18. 20 into 18 is the initial. Okay, after that, some 4 uh, new students joined. For new students join and that extra value I am taking as some y. For all these 24 members, the average increased by 2 means it becomes 20. Initially 18, when increased by 2 it becomes 20. So y is equal to 480 minus 360 which is 120. So answer is 120. Answer is 120. Now next. So 23, 8 by 9. 23, 8 by 9 means how much here? 215 by 9. It is 142 by 9 minus x. 
it is 36 by 37 into 2 74 by 9 from this how much we get it is um, 215 plus 142 minus 74 which is 283 by 9 283 by 9 so 931 the 279 4 by 9 31 4 by 9 option a is correct the next so now what should play come in place of this so it is uh, 16.5 165 by 10 into 18 by 27 into 11 plus 48 is equal to some x square what is the value of x so if you see here 9 2 ja, 9 3 ja, 355 ja, 2 1 ja, 2 5 ja, 5 11 ja. So, 48 plus 121, 169. So, x is 13. x is 13. So, double 4, double 4, divide by 44 is 101. 3 0 3 by 3 is 1 0 1. Minus 841 will be your question mark. Thereby, it is uh, how much x is equal to 261. 200 61. So answer is option B. Then question number 64. 4080 plus 5160 is 9240 divided by 440 is your question mark. 44 how many times? 44 21 times. So answer is option A. 65. 623.5 plus 587.5 is how much 1211 into 5 24220 so 1211 20 times so 5 4 times so answer is 4 answer is 4 next approximations approximations it is it is 342 plus 576 uh, minus 144 minus 144 plus 10 plus 10 is equal to x square so how much we are going to get here it is 918 928 minus 144 928 minus 144 is 784 so x square is 784 x is 28 x is 28 next 24 into some x you need plus 12 percentage of 225 12 percentage of 225 is how much 27 27 19 square is 361 676 under root is 26 so now 24x is equal to 387 minus 27 360 thereby x is 15 x is 15 next Question number 68. 12 cube is 1728. 1728 plus x square is equal to 36 percentage of 5200. 36 percentage of 5200 is 1872. So x square would be 1872 minus 1728, 144. So x is 12. x is 12. 472 plus 548 is how much is 472 plus 548 is 1020 minus x square 18 square is 324 plus it is 20 344 so x square is equal to 1020 minus 344 which is 676 so x is 26 x is 26 now the last question for today's session 121 96 percent of 500 96% of 500 is 480. 480 minus 121. 480 minus 121 is your question mark. So which is 359. So answer is 359. Option E. Okay. So this is uh, today's paper analysis. And we will again uh, meet in our next paper analysis. Thank you so much for watching our video.